Hey there guys, this is Andrew with Android Central and we're taking our first look at the Amazon Fire Phone, the um, somewhat rumored but uh, not entirely understood Fire Phone, but now we have it in our hands, a uh, 4.7 inch device, uh, Snapdragon 800 processor, but that's not the important stuff. The important stuff is all on the software side with Fire OS that has been customized properly for the Fire Phone. You have this uh, carousel view to go through all of your apps and of course if you're more of an app driven person you can go right into a traditional app listing and what's important here is um, the way you can track your face and your hand motion to uh, know exactly which way you're looking at the phone and which way the phone is moving so you can see icons starting to move around you do a little peek into the side and you get um, this right panel of the three panel view you can tilt back and it goes away. You can tilt again and it brings in uh, all the different content types. And you notice the same thing when you go into the web as well. In the Silk browser, it's uh, been made to take advantage of that as well. When you swipe in, you can see uh, your history, swipe it away, go like that. And the nice thing is that you can scroll as well by tilting and then it doesn't require any hand interaction whatsoever. You notice that all throughout the interface, you notice when you tilt to the side just a little bit, the carrier information will turn up as well. Or when you're uh, in your email, you tilt to the side just a little bit and you see edit, inbox, you see the information, you give it the full tilt, uh, the side panel comes in, you go from the other side, it'll show in that third panel, in this case, attachments. And then when you go into uh, any other app, it all has the, uh, the same kind of three panel idea in Amazon's apps. Uh, you go into the calendar, it's the same way. You pull in from the right side, you see what's going on next, send out your, uh, your notices that you're gonna be late, everything like that that you need. And then when you jump in, you see, of course, detailed information. Really quick around the hardware, you notice we have Gorilla Glass 3 on the front and the back. Uh, not a whole lot of manufacturers have done that before, but Amazon's doing it here. It makes the phone feel nice and solid and hefty. The glass back with Gorilla Glass should hold up nicely. Going around to the sides, you have your volume keys up on the top, and then this is your dedicated Firefly button. We'll get back to that in just a moment. Around the bottom, you see uh, one of the two stereo speakers, which is partnered up onto the top as well. And then this right side is completely uh, unadorned. Go ahead and long press on that button and then you have Firefly open up, which of course is the new feature that lets you recognize pretty much anything and throw it into your history, uh, which you can get from sli uh, sliding up from the bottom. You can see we've recognized phone numbers, pictures, all of this information all through one app and that's always accessible through that single button. A single press on that button will launch you into the camera, which is an eight megapixel camera with uh, OIS, HDR, all of the great features. So that's your quick look at the Amazon Fire Phone. We're gonna be bringing you more information on it uh, in the following weeks as it gets ready to launch on July 25th. Thanks for watching.